Hello and welcome to Antlers TV. My name is Jack Dutchfree. Tay Tay's behind the camera. This is probably going to be our last video at Superbooth. What? And we're here with Edward. Thank you, mate. Edward. Thank you, guys. From Arturia. We've been trying to get this video for two days, so thank you. What? For yeah. I wasn't hiding, I'm swearing. No, I'm okay, swear. but we've been missing the demonstrations, but okay. I kept my fingers in my ears. I don't know what's new. This looks new. What have we got on display here at Superbooth? Oh, we, we got a small device that is pretty popular these days uh, with a little cosmetic revamp, mm -hmm. uh, micro Fristella, actually. And uh, coming with the design for everybody, we came up with a new firmware updates. So uh, I think that's what you want to hear about. Right? Yes, I know it's a new firmware, but I don't know any of the details. So what have we got in there? Yeah, so we have uh, plenty of small stuff like uh, on the modulations, like new envelope modes for more snappiness, uh, which is really pleasant and present on Polybrute uh, right uh, on the side. Yeah. And we also have a new way to generate randomness uh, with the keys, which is really uh, convenient because, you know, the LFO and so on uh, is uh, like monophonic. Uh -huh. So uh, later maybe I will show you how I can apply it to uh, some sounds. Cool. So basically, the big surprise here is we came up with new engines. So as you, pro as you probably know, uh, Microfreaker is based on a, a digital engine uh, with like uh, analog filters, and the magic happens here when you turn and discover all these knobs. And uh, basically, we've been uh, making our own, collaborating with like Emily Gillet or uh, Noise Engineering to bring some new fancy uh, modes. And lastly, we wanted to come up with something a bit different to, you know, like uh, complete the, 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 the sound panel that you have with it. Mm -hmm. So uh, we came up with a sample engine and managed to find some, uh, some room in the code here and there oh, wow. to store a few samples. That's yeah. cool. Yes, man. And uh, I don't know, maybe we can start with okay, the... Okay, I'm excited because I, I didn't know that was going to be in there. Samples, and so can I put my own samples in it or it, uh, samples going to be available from you? Yeah, uh, actually we provide a pretty decent factory of like uh, 50, 50 and a little more uh, samples that mm -hmm. have been really curated by one of our sound designers, Victor, uh, which is really nice actually. So in the first place, I would definitely recommend to explore the different samples with the different modes because there are some really nice match and try and you know some nice here candies uh, but then uh, on your own you can use the whole utility software to uh, dump your own samples into the memory so roughly you will have around two minutes of uh, sample time and the utility will automatically convert the the sample into the right format for the micro -free. Yes. Amazing. I might even have a chance at demoing it when I get home. And we, you're in it, in it patch here, so can we hear some of the samples? That yeah, what, what if we can do is maybe uh, try a few samples yeah. and then uh, explore the new modes. Yes, please. Okay, let's do that, man. So, we'll start with uh, selecting the right mode first. Okay, so we'll start with the basic sample mode. So we have a piano here, so when you press shift and turn type, when you're on the sample engines, mm -hmm. you can access the sample list. So here we have a little hop, a little hop. and basically if you know Microfreak, um, the challenge is always about we are very complex modes and we want to restrain it to three knobs, which is in a sense limiting, but in a sense a very good thing because it forces us to make something really playful and something really rewarding without a lot of effort from the users, right? Yeah. So this is a very basic mode called sample. Uh, so here you can change the start position, which is not really useful on the ARP. And you can change the duration. So it will uh, like cut short like this. But if you go into the negative uh, values and move your start at the very end, can you guess what happens? Yes. Yes. And what I can do is maybe put it in paraphonic. Uh -huh. And then the heat candy is starting to happen, right? So this is really the first mode. And uh, for each knob, you have like a start position, you have the length, so a way to reverse the sample. And here you have a way to loop the, the sample. Like. So this 
this is the first thing. So if you want to explore samples, play pretty like uh, simply, maybe play basses and so on, you can try to use this, uh, this mode. And then maybe we can dive into the other modes. So uh, I will qu quit the sample browsing for a while. Where I would trust you with the inbuilt samples is that my experience of uh, the microfree uh, and what's the latest one? I've been playing, oh, I played it with the Osmos. Ah, one? Mini Freak. Mini Freak, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but <laughs> I, I keep saying that it has, um, it's almost like a beautiful album where all the sounds, all the songs go together. Yeah. And I love the style. Um, you said you're in the product development. Who are you into? Do you, I feel like there's direct inspiration behind this. There's, um, like, what artists would you say? Do you feel like it's... Oh man, uh, that's hard to say because uh, actually the guy who was being mini freak is Sebastian, one of my best friends actually. Yeah. Uh, and uh, we have quite a lot of different influences. You know, we have like the classic club music, uh, some pop stuff, hyper pop stuff, and also a lot of bass music uh, backgrounds. Right. So from the factory, you can find like some very like uh, bass heavy, distorted stuff to something really like. Uh, uh, nice and playable on keys, like for example, which is really suited for trap and drill, or uh, very like modern uh, beat making uh, styles, and also pop music and so on. You know, they're, so they're, it's a they're beautiful. Bit of when I do the demos, often I'm, I'm playing chords, and they're so beautiful with polyphonic playing. So thank you for making, because sometimes it makes me, my job really easy, because <laughs> I have little time with the product, so it's yeah. very instant. Yeah. When with the these and the way I got it hooked up to the MPE recently on the yeah, Osmos. I've seen your video. Oh mate, I've seen your video. that was crazy. But the depth of expression and I don't know about that. I've never plumbed in, and he made it so easy. So thank you. Yeah, cool. Really man. cool, man. Sorry, sorry. I'm, I'm going off. I'm being fanboy. Yeah. Here we go. Next one. Samples. So yeah, I started with the basic sampler, and basically from this sampler we kind of. They rebated it uh, into three uh, specific modes, I would say. So we wanted to go uh, granular. And you know the drill. Um, granular uh, engines usually have a lot of different controls and it's kind of maybe confusing for a lot of people. And here we had to cope with the challenge uh, of micro freak and trim it down to three knobs, you know. So we came up with three modes, uh, three additional modes. So the first mode is like scan grain. It's really like centered around the like uh, time stretch logic. Uh, which means your playhead is always moving from the start to the end of the sample and you can control the speed with the first knob. So maybe what I'm going to do now is to choose a sample that is nice. Uh, maybe let's start with the voice. You're from UK, right? Yeah. Okay, I will start. Uh, I will try to do something like uh, that <laughs> with a UK signature. God save up. <laughs> no, no, this kind of thing. Digital sound oscillations. Okay. <laughs> um, so I'm going to change the mode now and go to scan grain. Digital so, sound oscillations. So what I can do first is change the playback speed, uh, the playhead speed, moving towards the from the beginning to the end. Mm -hmm. Sound oscillations. UK, sort of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jungle, yeah. <laughs> kind of talks to someone. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, sound oscillations. And you can, with the last knob, so the second knob is really the density, so the, the speed of the sample gener the grain sound generation. Digital oscillations. Digital sound. Cool. And the third one introduces like randomness. Yeah, three knobs. I feel like other synth companies are probably getting cross at you because <laughs> it's like they might have their little niche where they're like, oh, I do a granular synth, and then you keep adding this functionality into these keyboards. We try to, man. We have to please our customers. Yeah, it's amazing. And uh, also, this colorway, this, we're going to be selling these as a limited edition, right? Yeah. Yeah, and um, what are we calling this? Stella. Stella. There we go. Yeah. Stella. I don't think Stella. Do, how, do we have a number on how many will be out there in the wild? I don't remember. No, okay. <laughs> Sorry. But, but, it's, but it's limited, so, that, you know, it's grab It's limited. Them. Yeah, cool. It's the collector candy. Yes. And the ear candy as well. 
Oh, are you gonna do? Oh, I'm just. Are you gonna do one with the mini freak as well? A special color on the mini freak. I don't know, man. Okay, cool. I sorry. don't know. I don't know. Uh, you have to ask Sebastian for this. Okay, but cool. He's not here this year. Come on, Sebastian, do it because yeah. I'm. I, I'm gonna get them all. I'm gonna collect them all. Uh, yes, but Maxence was like hanging around, like taking pictures of. Uh, products because his product designer did the design, so it's beautiful. if you catch him, you can say, Okay, I like it. Yeah, it's really cool. I like yeah. the graphics on this one. Yeah, so one. maybe we can select a new sample uh, and uh, try a new mode. Yes, please. Okay, so uh, maybe something more like a uh, wavetable ish or something. Cool, yeah. Yeah, you have to. Okay. Okay, so. I'm going to change the mode. So this is the cloud mode, so more standard, I would say, but, you know. Standard granular. Standard is good anyway. Yeah. So instead of having like the playhead moving by itself, it's fixed this time. And uh, what you can do, for example, is modulating it or assigning it to uh, the keyboard tracking so that you can scan elsewhere uh, when using it. Uh -huh. It's really easy to demo this thing because it's always something. Yeah, good. that's what I thought, that's what I said. It's, it's easy to demo. Sounds fall out of it. Yeah, and it can bring chaos. Cool. And fun fact, you can actually pitch bend the granula, which is pretty rare. So this is the second mode, like let's say the standard one. And uh, we have a last one, so maybe I can use another sample, just for the sake of showing off. Uh, <laughs> but no, <it's> not <laughs> uh, let's use the spectral one, I guess it's good. And this is a free, free update for everyone who's thinking of all those people out there. Yeah. You buy once, you get a lot of updates. Yeah. That's the logic. You know, it's using MIDI and so on to transfer, so we want it to be stable yeah. and as fast as possible. You know, it's, yeah. quite, it's a bit slow, but you know, you can. There's not much you can add because it's only it's two minutes. So you know, it works. Mm -hmm. You know, but two minutes is fine. No, actually. I, I'm a Nord user, and it takes about half an hour to put on a piano. So don't <laughs> worry. About, don't worry. About, and I think that costs like, so much money. No stress, bro. Yeah. So maybe we can uh, review the third last mode, mode. Yeah, yeah, it's called hit, basically. So it's a bit like the previous one, but instead of adding like chaos into the grains, you can actually change the shape. Uh, so maybe we can start with this. From smooth to more spiky. Ah, uh, really rhythmic, yeah. You just have to turn three knobs and you have fun. Which is what I want out of everything. <laughs> it would yeah. make my life so much easier. <laughs> man, thank you so much for doing it. I really thank appreciate it. Thank you so much, it. man. And so, yeah, about a couple of weeks, do you reckon people will be able to download this? And, yeah. and then these hit in the store for people to buy? Yeah, like this is like soon available in the stores and uh, the firmware like drops in, I would say, two weeks. Cool. Uh, you have like uh, 64 new presets for free uh, to everybody. Yeah, we extended the preset memory from 300 to 500. Uh, you know, plenty of candies for and for freeness. Yeah. And uh, what's great is you can get these from Anderson, so click in the description and you get the links to it. Man. Sure. Thank you so much. Good to have you.